So we've come from where the magic of the yeast happens and we're at the final stage for you guys now, aren't we? Yeah, this is our new our new cast plant. Mm -hmm. um, we just put this in about six months ago, actually. So it's, it's all new equipment. Um, Certainly very shiny looking. Yeah, so we've got to take, we've got to take the beer. We brewed it, but mm -hmm. obviously we've got to put it into a cask. Yep. So this is where we bring all the casks back from our customers, wash them, refill them and send them out ready for the next delivery. Tell me exactly how the beer gets put into the barrels to go to the pub here. Yeah, so basically this um, cast come back from the pub, uh, they're all stacked up in, the, in, in stacks of 18, so we pick them up with a forklift truck, feed them into conveyor belts, they're automatically depalletized. We then have to take the keystones and the shives out of the cask, again that's all done automatically, mm -hmm. and then wash the cask and sterilize it. Mm -hmm put a new keystone in, put it into the filler. So what is a keystone right. and what is a shine? Okay, there's two holes on the cask. Mm -hmm. The little one on the end mm -hmm. is the keystone, the big one on the top is the shive. So the shive is where we put the beer in, the keystone is where the landlord takes the beer out. As a brewer, you send your products unfinished to your shop window, which is the pub. So is it quite comforting that you work with companies like Nicholson's who invest in the Cask Master programme and really care about how your beer is put on the bar? Nicholson's are a company that have really invested in their pubs and they've really invested in beer quality. Um, it's one of the reasons we actually do business with Nicholson's because you know, we, we're very proud of our reputation and we need to know that our beer is going to pubs where they're going to look after it and serve it properly. So you know, we find it really reassuring that, uh, that Nicholson's are putting this work into making sure that their pubs are serving the perfect pint of St Austell Brewery beer. So we've had a great day here at St Austell Brewery. We followed Nicholson's Pale Ale from grain to barrel but of course, we've got to get it to your glass. So, we'll catch up with you at the Carpenter's Arms in Windsor, and I'll see you at the bar. Here we are in beautiful Windsor, what a stunning town it is. And now we've been down to the St Austell Brewery, what we need to do is we need to get into the pub, we need to get into that carpenter's arms down there, and we need to get a pint of the good stuff. See you in there. Now that's what you call a proper Nicholson's welcome. Cheers. Cheers. The carpenter's arms was founded in 1580. Okay, this wow. This was the original pub in the market where we're now standing in Tudor times. Right. It's been a pub permanently here for the last 500 years. Okay, so let's go in. Hello James. Hello. Thank you very much for welcoming us to your cellar at the Carpenter's Hello. Arms, the Nicholson's pub in Windsor. We've got Windsor Castle just over there overlooking us, but uh, obviously we can't see it at the moment because we're down oh, here sure. with the barrels. Oh, yes. um, so obviously cask beer is a hugely fascinating product to a lot of people because all they do is they get the pint at the end but they're also kind of aware that something has to happen in the cellar so as the cask master for the carpenter's arms can you tell me a little bit about when the barrel arrives what do you have to do to it it's then brought into the cellar um, allowed to reach cellar temperature which yeah. is about 11 to 13 degrees uh -huh. it's then racked uh, then vented i.e hard pegged or soft pegged doesn't right. really matter to allow air in. So basically put a hole in the top there and then cover it. Essentially, yeah. Yep, okay. And then tapped. Okay, so this, this is the magical, mythical phrase of tapping and venting. venting so this yeah. is part of your role as the cast master to take care of all of that. Indeed. So what's the purpose of tapping and venting this cask? We vent purely to let air in, to then let it do its process mm -hmm. in order to be ready to then go upstairs and then to be served. So is this the secondary fermentation process that goes on in the cask? The, yes. Yeah, right, okay, so the, let's the air in so it allows the secondary fermentation to take place. Exactly. So we've got the Nicholson's Pale Ale here, which is brewed by St Austell. So how long does this have to wait? About 48 hours. Right, okay. So you've got to take care of it. and you Do you try it as well to make sure that you know that it's absolutely Indeed, perfect? Yeah, yeah we'll, we'll take a small sample from glass here. Yep. Um, hold it to the light if it's clear and ready to go. We then know we'll have a small taste, just to be sure, and then off we go. Perfect. 